Teresa Spalding Hampson, one of the best players to come through here. She was a four-time All-American at BYU. She holds the school record in block shots. She also played overseas after she was done with that. Jen Hampson, absolutely. I mean, an All-American in volleyball and in basketball, like, you don't see that a ton. I don't think BYU knew what was coming at him when she came. I actually trusted my mom from the beginning, but I don't know why I always fought her opinion for the longest time, but she was right. I absolutely loved it. Loved playing basketball and volleyball, and then, you know, my siblings always came to games. Watching Jen play was really cool. She was dominant. And she sort of set her parameters, and she went and took pole sports, took the basketball program as far as they'd ever been to the Sweet 16, and then took volleyball to the finals, to the championship match. Even Sarah, uh, she was a big force here. Sarah played for the volleyball team and the basketball team. On the basketball team is where she really shined and she challenged Teresa for the block shot record, and Sarah went in to try and see if she could best Jen. And then there's me, living my best life. <laughs> I mean, growing up, I was always perfectionist. I wanted everything to be perfect, and I wanted to be the perfect person and live up to the family expectation of doing good in school and in sports. That has uh, hampered her because the perception, yeah. right? There's six foot seven mom, there's six foot seven Jen, there's six foot six Sarah, and here comes six foot three Heather. Oh, she's short, even if she is a Hampson, doesn't really look like a Hampson. Is she really a Hampson? You know, we, we spend endless days answering fans, yep, that really is one of ours. Growing up, it was just kind of shoved in my face of like, well, you're not tall, so like, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna be different? I think it was really difficult for me as a parent to, to see it going on and not really knowing how to help. And a child doesn't always come to you and a child doesn't always respond to you as a parent telling them, well, you're really good. She would make comments like, well, Mom, you're supposed to love me. You know, you're supposed to think I'm wonderful. You're supposed to think all of these things. But she didn't think of them that way herself. Wanting to be perfect was still such a mental strain on me during school. And so that just kind of made myself isolate myself from everyone. It just, I need to focus on being the best in my sports and in school. But because of that, I was just so depressed and had so much anxiety and was not in a good place mentally in my senior year. In high school, we realized that it could be debilitating for her and it could cause some things where she just wasn't moving and going where she wanted to go. Having a mental breakdown every other day, that was normal. And so I remember my mom, you know, nudged me. She's like, hey, how are you doing? Do you want to go talk to someone? I'd be like, what are you talking about? I'm fine. Like, I don't need help. And then I remember the turning point, I think, was when I was in the car with Sarah. And she talked to me, and she was like, hey, you're not doing good. You should go listen to mom, like, go to therapy. And she's like, this isn't normal. If you're happy, you wouldn't be breaking down all the time. And so I was like, OK. You know, I think it's important to talk a little bit about um, mental health as well. And I think that it's been something that people don't like to talk about sometimes. And I think that um, when they hear that it's OK and accept it and those kinds of things. After about like two months of going, I started to see a big improvement. It was really helpful because I was going into summer term for college coming up. And so I think I probably wouldn't have survived if I was still in that mental state coming out of high school. Time came to make decisions about college. You know, Heather's playing high school volleyball and basketball, starring on both teams, doing really well. Getting offers to play both volleyball and basketball at a variety of schools. But BYU was not nibbling. I wanted to play at BYU, and so I think that kind of was hard, though, because I didn't really have a backup plan if BYU didn't work. <laughs> that's just her dream, and that's what she wanted to do, and so that's what she did. She went after it. And Coach Judkins said, OK, we'll take a chance on you. Don't know if you're really any good, but we'll take a chance. I'll let you be a walk-on. She redshirted her first year, which I thought was smart. Again, another sacrifice where you're never going to get on the court and you're a walk-on, so you're signing up for just being a practice player. And she worked really, really hard for Jetty and made great progress and did some great things. She 
earns everything that she's gotten. She's earned a scholarship for me for the last two years, and I love that she just comes to work every day. She's the first one in the gym, the one on the days off, making sure she's getting shots up, so she's always working to get somewhere. Even though everybody expects this, you know, all-American approach to it because of who her family has been in the past. Whether she's the tallest in her family or the smallest, it really doesn't matter because of what she adds to our team. There's a price to be paid to win, and Heather Hampson continually pays that price and does what it takes to be successful. So there's no doubt in my mind that on the court, off the court, success is going to follow her. I think that I, in the last year, I've seen leaps and bounds with her. She's just been far more willing to take those risks and work hard to get where she wants to be and gain that confidence. For a while, I was just accepted the fact that I'm just a Hampson and that's all I'll ever be, and I am, and I'm proud of that. But I am Heather Hampson. I am my own person, and I think it's important that we all recognize everyone as who they are and not group them with whatever we might categorize them in.